Hello everybody, as you know I'm well known for doing experiments with my allotmenting so here's the results of one I set up last year. Last year I discovered that some wild um, bushes such as um, blackberries actually root better if you keep them in water. Um, I overwintered them last year with some and they grew roots. After only a year, well just over a year of living just in water with a little bit of tomato food, this is the root mass that you've got on black currants. And I've just put in a few more cuttings as well actually, but mostly these are black currants. And um, I imagine other soft fruits would work as well, like red currants. So if you haven't got the space as I haven't to heal in cuttings, um, try just putting them in water. I mean, I'm trying these blackberries this year um, with a bit of plant food. Only a few couple of drops, don't go mad. Keep changing it. I forgot to change these and they still forgave me. But even in water with a bit of plant food made some fruit, so it's hydroponics. Who knows, perhaps these would work even in space travel for hydroponics. That's growing things just in water with nutrients. So black currants working, rooting just in water. Of course they probably won't go another year so these ones will need to be divided and planted out so I'll find some space for them on my allotment. Um, I won't expect any fruit from off, off them um, next year but they should be successful, don't see why not. So I'd recommend trying this for black currants, red currants, maybe even gooseberries. Water seems to be a good medium for them to root in. Just to show you um, the black currants from last year, I've tied them up a bit. And you can see I've put them all into one bucket. And that's typically the amount of roots you just get on one in water. So that's from last um, autumn. Just put the plant in water, even fruited in water. Um, so black currants will root in water. Um, be surprised if they'd root that well if you put them in into your allotment so maybe water's even better than soil if you do it to, and this survived the beast from the east. There's one of my experiments which has actually worked. Why not try it yourself? Well that's it from me today as you can see my quinces are ripening up nicely for uh, Christmas. This little robin's always around as you can see he's very curious on the branch there behind the Japanese canemelies. Oh, said it right, the quince. Happy gardening to all of your allotment people and hope uh, some of the experiments I've done might be of use to you.